In this video, we'll see how we can start programming in Python and we'll create our first um, application, which is a Hello World application um, in Python. But before that, we'll look at how we can install Python and the uh, integrated development environment that we'll be using, which is PyCharm. So the first step here is to download the latest version of Python. So if you go to your Google and type Python, the first result will be the python.org, which is the official website for Python. If you go to downloads and select your operating system, or it will automatically detect that operating system for you. I'm using Windows and I'll click Python 3.1 and that will start the download. Once the file is downloaded, you can go ahead and launch that installer. But before you click on install now, make sure that you check the box for add Python 3.10 to path and then you can leave everything to the default values. You'll get this pop-up, click on yes, and that will start the installation process. Once the installation is done, you might get this disable path length limit. Click on that and just make sure that you click on yes and then your setup will be completed. The next step now is to download our IDE, which is PyCharm. So I'll go to Google again and type PyCharm. And the first link I will get, which is from JetBrains, will take me to the website. Click on download. Make sure that your operating system is selected. Mine is Windows. And I'll be downloading the community, which is the free edition of PyCharm. Once your file is downloaded, you can launch the installer. Click on next. You can leave the destination folder as it is. Click on next. If you want to have a desktop shortcut, you can check that box. If you want to associate any .py files to open directly with PyCharm, you can also check this um, box too. Click on next and install. Once the installation is complete, you can launch the application directly by checking this box run PyCharm and then click on finish. The first time you run PyCharm, it will ask you to accept the um, user agreement. So check this box and click on continue. It will ask you if you want to share data with them. I can just click on do not send. So let's create our first project. In the projects tab, I'll click on new project. I can name the folder where I will be storing the project in. So the default path will be in the C users and the new username PyCharm projects. And then you can name that folder that you want to store your project in. So let's say hello world. And the important part here is to select the base interpreter. This is the latest version of Python we just installed. And then I will uncheck if the create a main.py welcome script was checked. I will uncheck that so it doesn't create the, um, this file for me. And click on create. So once the project is created, I'll go to the project folder here on the left navigation pane, right click new and then file and then I can name it um, hello world dot pi. So the file will open up in the editor here. I will just type a simple command print and then in parentheses in double quotations I'll say hello space world. Now on the top menu bar here I'll click on run and then run I will select my project, hello world. And then you'll see in the console down, we have hello world printed out. 